Hello friends, this video on garbage in garbage out part 1 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Topics to be covered in this lesson are Introduction, Garbage, Landfills, Waste Segregation, Vermicomposting, Biodegradable Wastes, Non-Biodegradable Wastes, Disposal of Plastics and Reduce, Recycle and Reuse, the 3 R's. So when we talk about garbage, so before we learn what actually garbage is, let's think of the scenery of a park which we all would love to have. So let's say if I ask you to go out in the evening outside to play, what kind of environment would you like where you have trees and greenery all around, everything is neat and clean. So you are happily enjoying with your friends. So that is something which is desirable, which is something that you want. So you will be happy to be in a place like this where everywhere it is clean. You do not have papers thrown here and there. You do not have, uh, you know, dirt here and there. You do not have smoke. So everything is neat, clean. You can feel the fresh air. So that is something which is desirable. So clean environment, clean green environment keeps us happy. So we feel good, we get a positive energy, our mind freshens up, so it makes us feel good. But there are certain things that can bother our environment, that can spoil the cleanliness and the green environment. So what could be those things? They could be some like germs. They could be some waste materials and from where do these germs come? Now let's say if you keep your house very clean, if you clean, keep your room very very clean. So in that case do you see germs in your room? No. But whenever you start keeping your room very dirty, you do not clean it every day so you get layers and layers of dust and from that dust whenever you uh, breathe inside your room you tend to sneeze a lot. Uh, again, you tend to fall sick, uh, You, when you breathe in, you do not feel the presence of fresh air. That's because when there is so much of dirt and dust inside the room, a lot of unwanted organisms also start staying in that room. So these unwanted or undesirable microorganisms or you can say harmful germs, harmful microorganisms also make their home in dirty and dusty places. So these are certain things that can bother our environment. So now the same park, next time when you go, you see that half of the trees have been cut or most of them have dried up and died. You do see a lot of creepy worms here and there and uh, smelly substances because people have thrown uh, their kitchen wastes in the park. So it is smelling really badly. So will you feel like playing in the same park? I don't think so. Because unwanted harmful substances can really bother us and also the environment. And when the environment is not clean, we do not feel the freshness in the environment. So if we compare these two scenarios, in one scenario on the top you see a, a green field with long green trees, it's fresh, I mean what could you think? Looking at this picture, you can feel the freshness in the air, seeing that picture itself. But the other scenario, this one, what, what's there? You see a dustbin and all the garbage, instead of being inside the dustbin, a lot of them is even outside. So it's like the, the, the dustbin was full, but nobody bothered to clean it and then people started dumping the waste materials even outside the dustbin. Now if you visit this place now, what, what is going to be your experience? Now these are all waste materials. Maybe in one of these packets you might have a spoiled burger. In another packet you might have uh, the banana skin. In another, in another packet you might have some rotten vegetables or fruits. So those are the things that would be there because people would have thrown only the waste materials. Now. When people have thrown it, say, today morning, so when you visit this place in the evening, what's going to happen? The place is going to smell really bad. So that's one thing. Second thing, when you have so many rotten things dumped up in this place, 
there are chances that a lot of uh, germs, a lot of microbes will start growing in these places. A lot of insects, a lot of flies, mosquitoes will start, uh, you know, roaming around this place. As a result, the chances of diseases will also increase because, you know, right, there are so many diseases we are, which are transmitted through insects like flies and mosquitoes. So the chances of falling sick will also increase. So now you tell me, which of the two scenarios is better? Definitely and undoubtedly the first one. Right? So we all want an environment like this around us. But as we all know, nothing comes for free. So if we want an environment like this, we need to put in some efforts from our end. We need to ensure that everything is clean around us. So something that very desperately interferes with a clean environment, with a green environment is garbage. So what is garbage? It is nothing but the waste materials which are discarded from our own households, schools, offices and all public places like hospitals, restaurants, etc. So in a way, this garbage is produced by us. We create the garbage. We, I mean, the waste materials that come out of our house is because of us. For example, if the dustbin in my house contains uh, the vegetable skins, if it contains rotten fruits, if it contains uh, torn papers, broken glass. So why does the dustbin contain all of these? Because I have broken a glass or maybe I am eating vegetables. So the vegetable skins are there. I, I am eating fruits. Some fruits got rotten. So the fruits are there. So all these waste materials are produced because of us, right? Now it is also important, now we cannot keep the waste materials inside our house. So what we do in order to keep our house clean, we just throw them outside of our house. Now in this lesson, what we are going to learn is how do we handle garbage actually and how should we handle garbage? Because garbage interferes with, our, with the cleanliness of our environment very badly. So when you talk about garbage, it could be anything. It can include broken toys, it can include old clothes, rotten fruits, vegetables, food, yeah, vegetable peels. Yeah, it can include paper, broken glass, sanitary wastes, plastics, electronic wastes. All kind of waste materials can be there in the garbage. Now the question is, what do we do with the garbage or what can we do with the garbage? So that's what we are going to see in Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.